Hello and welcome back to finally yet another video. I have not uploaded for a week because I was down with the big C. I, based on the videos I watched over the period of the pandemic, it seems that that word's quite sensitive, so I'm not gonna uh, say it outright. But yeah, that's the reason you haven't seen any content from me because I was down, isolated. The moment I tested myself positive, I said myself to the phantom zone so today the product i'll be opening is quite an interesting one it's the japanese version of yu gi -Oh, of which the fans call the ocg rather than the ecg and this is a special series called the history archive collection so it features many playable cards and the hits are of course the vintage cards you can see dmg here blue eyes here and uh, maybe a few others but of course as we all know the hits for this set are the vintage cards i don't know too much about the meta of Yu-Gi-Oh, although i do know master duo has been quite popular and for good reason i guess because it's quite free they have no restrictions as of yet so anything goes but yeah i would say that is the most complete version of the card game online well, that's a game at least. So hopefully I can get a few bits from this. I don't really know too much about what's in here, but apparently this is quite elusive. Because I got this box for a hundred Singapore dollars, which is not the usual price for a usual box, at least for Japanese boxes. They are usually quite cheap. Oh, you can see the the foiling is pretty interesting. Oh, and if I sound different, pardon my voice because I'm uh, still recovering. But I decided to at least crank out the video since I have. Oh, look at that! Cosmetic secret weapon. Looks pretty cool. But that's not the prismatic secret rare we want. <laughs> the prismatic secret rare that we want is... Photon something dragon. Wake up your e hero. Yo, what the hell is this? <laughs> It looks good. Let me set it aside. But I have no idea, honestly. I'm, I'm completely blind to this, so... Maybe people... Are watch, who are watching this are like, Come on, baby, do something amazing, dude! And I'm like, uh, okay. Honest... Honest news. This is one I recognize. Junk Synchron. I recognize. This 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 rarity is not normal. What is this? Oh my god! Is I actually? I mean, it's not a uh, it's not a card I recognize, unfortunately. But this is for sure something. You can't tell me this is not. I'll have to go look this card up. Well, I'll put the price here if it's worth anything. But otherwise, it'll be left as is. But that rarity is definitely something. It's they wouldn't make a card like that if it's not a chase card. Or at least it's a chase rarity, but it's just it just so happens that I got a bad card for it. Well, I guess wait, hold on. Yubo? What the heck's going on? This is the Turbo Synchron, but is it? No, that's not Turbo Synchron. Turbo Synchron looks like a fire extinguisher. 
This is very strange. This rarity is the... Uh... Am I supposed to get this many of it? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. And at least I recognize this card. You will. From the GX era. I joined in during the 5D era, for those of you who watched my previous Yu Gi Oh! video. So, uh, although I quit in the very same era, so it's kind of most of the cards I know are just uh, Stardust Dragons, the. Uh... Oh! Okay, so they're available in different rarities, basically. Although I stopped collecting, I did watch up to... I watched the anime up to, like, Zexo, I think. And then the Pendulums and all the Dimensions... Dimension Wars and all the... Synchro, VS Overlays, VS, all the... Ah, it was quite insane. <laughs> the power creep was too much for me. Okay, this is strange. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just hoping for a DMG. Come on. If I score a DMG in that rarity, I'll be so happy. That is all I want. All I want. Oh, Blue Angel. This is from. Brains, I think, because the uh, I know all the characters' names has that nickname. Oh, okay. So this is the normal Yugo. And this is the kind of ghosty, ghosty Yugo. I don't know. Is this like ultimate rare or something? I don't remember ultimate rares looking like that. They just they just have gold fonts here and are uh, extra sparkly. This is a super rare. Oh, this one looks nice. Okay, so it's not so basically the cards in here are available in almost all rarities. Am I correct to say that? I'm not too sure actually. But not complaining. Not complaining. Oh, another tuner. This is a fusion tuner monster. What the heck? I. It's been a while, man. <laughs> everything's, everything's super new to me. But I do know one thing that a lot of the cards are often included in the OCG, so they are actually not very expensive. But the rarities itself, so. Like, those crazy ghost rare like things. Those are expensive, even though it's the same card. Blue Eyes Alternative Fuck Dragon, is that? Great Dragon Arch Field, is it? Or maybe it's the advanced one, I'm not sure. I can't read. Oh, Red Eyes Black Dragon? No. This is uh, another card. Some for Spirit of Black. Spirit of Red Eyes. Is that a card? Spirit of Red Eyes. But I like that. The Red Eyes card. I would have preferred the Blue Eyes or DMG, man. Come on. <laughs> you know, you know, you know it. I don't care if it's a super rare, just give it to me, man. Just give it to me. The super rare. Oh, what the heck is this? It looks like Stardust Dragon, but it doesn't look like Stardust Dragon at the same time. Suta das Dragon. Yes, it's a Stardust Dragon. You say? No, man. They have to recite poems to summon monsters. <laughs> F number zero. That's kind of strange. I only mean, know the numbers. But I didn't know there was F for that. Keyboard. Okay, secret rare version of it. Does that mean every box has like a... 
has like a vintage in it, but like, well, we'll see, we'll see. Whoops. F number zero again. This looks like the only thing. Damn. This kind of looks like Black Luster Soldier, but... Then Setsuno. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Is that good? I think that's good. That's a vintage card-ish. It's a ritual monster too. Probably a support card for... Oh! Oh, you can't tease me like that. Come on. <laughs> you can't tease me like that. I'm keeping that in the good pile. Oh, high moon. Not sure what this is. Last pack. I know it's taking a while for a thing about, but I'm just quite overwhelmed by all of these cards that are supposedly linked to vintage stuff, but completely do not recognize. Oh, this is a super rare version. Ah. Uh, Oh well, the closest we got to a DMG is this card. Some like Dark Magician Spirits or something. We kind of tempted for another box actually. But the card shop I frequent only has two. No, not two, but I bought the last box he had, so. And I reserved it while I was being confined. I was while I was in isolation. I messaged because I knew that it was coming out that day. And my friend messaged me. I was like, "Hey, look at my, look at my pools." And I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah." So these are all the ultimate secret rares or notable cards that I find are notable. I'll look it up, and if any of them have value, when I pull them, I'll include the price. So thanks for watching. Look out for more videos coming very soon, brilliant stars and all that. So I'll see you all soon. Bye.